Hi friends, uh, welcome to another tutorial of Easy Video Series. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to install Ubuntu from a USB device or make a Ubuntu or a Linux bootable iOS, ISO under Windows. Friends, nowadays we hardly use CDs for installing operating system. We normally prefer to have a bootable pen drive or a USB drive for installing the same. In this tutorial, I am going to show you the same thing. For this, you will need two things. First is any Linux distribution that you love, Ubuntu, Fedora or anything that. And second is the software that will help us to make our USB bootable. So for that you have the Linux Live USB Creator. I have given the website in the video description uh, or the direct download link. Okay, So it's a very simple software just 4.5 MB. This is the icon for it. So double click and start the icon. Here you go. It's a very simple interface. Has only four things here. So first, you need to choose a pen drive or a USB drive on which you will like to burn that image. So it automatically detects the possible drives that can be taken. So you, I select J as my pen drive. It is important that the drive should be FAT formatted. If it is NTFS or some other format, it will format it with FAT32. Second thing. There are many options with which you can specify your image. It can be an ISO, IMG or a zip image. It can be directly if you have the CD of that particular optic system or optionally you can download from internet the ISO image. This option will take a lot of time. Okay, So I have an ISO image for Ubuntu. I will show you with that. I select browse and I have an ISO image of Ubuntu 12.04 LTS. I just double click it. If there is some performance issue, it will actually show the proper graph coming here. So it is initially checking the integrity of the file. Till then I will explain you the further options. Persistent mode is a mode in which uh, normally the live mode will load you in the RAM and it will not save any settings that you have made to it. But using persistent mode, all your settings are saved to your pen drive. So whatever settings are being done by you, so when you carry this to a different location, those settings are preserved in your pen drive. So it recognizes the Linux is not in the compatibility. However, it says it is even to 12.04 precise spangle. Third is a persistence option as I explained you. So let us keep CMB for persistent storage. Option number four, hide created files on the key. This helps you to hide your files so that you will not see a lot of cluttered folders and files. Because normally it creates 6 to 7 folders and some files. Format the form key using FAT32. By default, the option is unticked. It is very helpful in cases when you have larger pen drives like 16 GB or 32 GB. You need not erase your data. All the existing data is left untouched. Okay. Third option is enable launching Linux live in Windows. This requires VirtualBox to be installed or you need to have an optional internet connection here. So with the help of this, you can directly launch your Linux distribution in the virtual box. Okay, so I keep all the options as default. Select the pen drive. Second option give your Linux ISO. Even if it is not in the compatibility list, it will install perfectly. The software is superb. Persistence is also option. I have just given 50 MB. You can even specify 0 MB. No issues. But with 0 MB persistent, you won't be able to have persistent data. All your settings will be erased when the OS is shut down or rebooted. So just click on the lightning icon to start the installation. So step one of three, okay. Cleaning previous installation, if any. If there were any installations by Lily Linux USB creator, it will delete that. Okay. And after that, it will start installing the Ubuntu OS. So that's it. It's very simple. And the best feature of Linux Live is it's free and open source. No reboot needed. Supports n number of Linux distributions. It supports the persistent mode also. Smart clean and smart download. You can download your ISO directly from the software itself. No need to go on internet. Then hidden installation, file integrity checking, intelligent formatting, and auto update. The software auto updates itself, supporting new Linux distributions. It also works with IMG file, though it's an experimental feature. For right now, I will like to pause my video.
so here we are uh, it's just about to complete it is extracting the ISO file on the key 90% is complete so it is now creating file for persistent we have created 50 MB of persistence as you see 50 MB is being created so now persistent format needs to be in a particular format it needs to format that persistent drive now it is installing the boot sectors hiding files and your Linux live is now ready so that's it uh, it will directly open the website for this it has around burnt till now as per the website data 7 million USB drives so that's a huge amount so once again I will just go through the procedure very fast select your USB drive then select your ISO image or if you have a CD or a DVD or directly download the software persistent this step is optional you need not worry about it you can have even 0 MB of persistent space if you wish to format your pen drive tick this option if you don't wish to hide this file untick this option and just click the lightning button and you are done so my USB which is prepared is a USB bootable now I just need to go to BIOS and select the option to select my first boot device as USB drive and voila my Ubuntu pen drive is ready so if you want to see this is my drive and of course you won't be able to see because it contains hidden files and folder let me come this is my pen drive and if you can see disk boot casper dist install pool pressed these are all the files and folders created by Linux live USB creator okay so thank you for watching the video this is a hundred percent working tutorial please watch my videos and subscribe to my channel have a nice time